Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cardboard rectangle addicts, you know what it is. Based on the title of the video. And I have to satiate my cardboard rectangle, specifically Modern Horizons 2, collector's boosters box addiction. So let's get into this break now, shall we? So in the last video, Last week we did very, very well. We ended up getting Cabal Coffers. We ended up getting five Fetchies as well as, uh, what else did we get? Cabal Coffers, oh, and the Prismatic Vista. That's right. So let's see if we can do something a little bit different. Obviously the Fetchies are always the chases. And I'm gonna try to make more organized piles here with the Fetchies and the lands here on the left side. Mythic and rare pile and just goodies overall. So we got the 12 packs. Put them over there, out of frame, first pack. Let's do something a little different here, like I said to you before. Let's try to get, uh, you know, the pack, the negation. Let's try to get the Urzas. Let's try to get the Ragavan. Why can't I get Ragavan? I can't get them. Ooh, that's a nice treasure. All right. So <laughs> we're getting into this. Another card that my friend Colin's going to want to steal off of me. Abundant Harvest. Okay. Getting through Scurry Oak. Ravenous Squirrel. Nice. Um... A lot of the cards that I have in my Chatterfang deck. All right, we're already getting into our Borderless, Rare, Void, Mirror, okay? Faithful Salaging. We we love getting these counter spells. So that's a nice rare Borderless, Alternate Art counter spell. Creepy Kid in the Bee's Costume. We have the Sketch, Abundant Harvest. Oh, Land of War Tribe. That's not half bad. That's a pretty nice etch foil in common. All right, Chromatic Guide. And for our last card, we have the Showcase Mythic, Sarah's Emissary. All right, pretty cool. So I, like I said, I'll do the Mythics here. And we'll put the bulk, uh, we'll put the bulk like over here. And then we have the Borderless Rares, put the Borderless Rares right there. Go through this, uh, so we have another Borderless Rare right here, the counter spell. Creepy Kid in the Bees costume, Leonard War. And uh, we'll put the regular non borderless rares right there. Just wanna make sure that I'm getting everything in the camera shot, the field of view of the camera. I can't get over how good this box is in in general. It's just, it never seems to disappoint. I have opened damn near a case of these at this point. This might actually be my fifth or sixth box. Thopter, food token, and I just never seem to be disappointed. I never get diminishing returns on these. I always make my money back in some way or another in these boxes. So we're getting through our uncommons and commons. A progenitor rules, a Jim Mack hung over on a weekend. So we got our extended rare right there. Okay. Look at that torque. Creamy kid in a beast costumes. Uh, Shardless Agent actually is a, is a few dollars right there, so I'll put that in the rare. And our last one right here is a Sketch Rare, Verdant Command. Actually not half bad of a card. Not exactly what I would want to see as my last card in one of these collector's boosters, but that's okay. Could definitely swap that out, put that into the Squirrel Tribal deck get into our third pack of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collector's booster box of Modern Horizons 2. Nice goblin token for the Cranko deck. Got a squirrel over there. We gotta, we gotta show those squirrels off. All right, so 10 packs including this one left to go. We got a Chatterstorm right there, another one of those squirrels. Okay, Millikin, Flame Rift, getting into our rares. So we have a rare borderless Usury. Pretty cool card right there. I believe that is in the uh, collector's uh, box. Late Dinner, which I never end. We have Lonus, Cryptozoologist. We have a Sliver here as well. We have a Sliver. We have the Old Border Foil. Okay. Orwell Gargoyle. Prismatic Ending, which actually is a pretty good hit. Uh, not a rare and uncommon, but uh, one of the better uncommon. So I'll go ahead and there. Dorothy Void Walker. Etched Foil. Retro Frame rare very nice and the last card we have an extended border foil blood braid marauder so not, not, not a good card to end it on 
on that pack right there. So we started last week's video off with uh, one hell of a bang, just getting two fetch lands and a prismatic ending out of the first two packs. So no fetch lands right now. No, nothing really to uh, jump out of the seat for or get excited about. So maybe we're starting this box off weak, but ending it really strong. Beast Clue, turn his baby over. All right, let's get through these uncommons and the commons. Underworld cookbook, not half bad. There it is. So our first fetchy of the box right there. We have a non-foil extended March Flats. So very, very nice. Let's go ahead and put that in our fetchy and land pile. Okay. We have a couple. Oh, we have another Scion of Draco. Non-foil Mythic. Okay. Extended. Put our extended arts over there. We have a foil sketch, Goblin Arcana Master, Galvanic Relay, another Mythic, wow, okay, so we have a double Mythic, the, the Dread Canter, Etched Foil, Retro Frame, last card, all right, so that's actually not half bad, I don't think I've ever pulled this card, so we have a Foil Retro Frame, Archmage's Charm, I think this is, uh, goes for a pretty, pre uh, a pretty, a, a pretty penny, Yes, there it is. Words. I can speak them, apparently. All right, cool. So let's put this in the rare pile, obviously not the extended. And let's put uh, let's put the Dread Canner here, and we'll put the Archmage's Charm over it. Uh, obviously from Modern Horizons 1 set. It's one of the nicer cards that you can pull out of that set. And of course the Urzas, which I'm trying to pull here. The Pact of Negation, which I'm trying to pull here as well. Those, of course, are from Modern Horizons 1, Treasure Token, Turn This Baby Over, or Ornithopter of Paradise, actually not a half bad common right there. Chatter Storm, especially if you're doing drafts. Nice to have that. Inevitable Betrayal, non-foil, extended rare. Okay, 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 Jade Avenger, sketch. We have the, do I really want to put this? Paragon, rare, sketch, it's okay. Mind Collapse and Ephemerate, another one of those Modern Horizons. Uh, old Frame, we have the um, Etch Foil, words, I can't speak them apparently. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this in our, wow, we have another Archmage's Retro Frame. This is uh, Modern Horizons 1 right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, we have something pretty nice, it looks like it's a foil and it's an extended art, Borderless in the back. So we have the Archmage's Charm, Foil, Etch Foil, all right. So we have Marari's Wake, Foil, Extended Art. Not half bad. I would have to say this is probably like eight or 10 bucks. So I'll put that right on over there. Mythic pull at the end there. Not exactly what I am, uh, I'm shooting for, but could have been worse, right? So let's get into pack number six. We are getting halfway through this box here. Okay, we have a zombie, we have a squirrel. Let's show that squirrel off right over there. Okay, so let's get in to pack number six at our etch foil forest we have a bug extended ravenous squirrel thrasta the tempest roar tribute mage another one of those modern horizons ones cards actually not half bad blacksmith skill diamond lion and a progenitor ooze old score boil <laughs> border foil okay so put that right there we're, we're kind of getting we're kind of getting a long, long aisle of cards here. Let's move it up a tiny bit. We might have to make two piles or just move them out of the way. We have the Zabas. Put that there. We have the Thrasta. Tribute Mage. Okay, and uh, Diamond Lion. Ah, eh, not a great card. Not a great rare. So we'll just throw that over there in the the bulk and bring this down a little bit here. All right. Not necessarily uh, hitting the left side of the box off with a bang. Got a lot of Modern Horizons 1's card, which are always welcome in the collection. Bird, squirrel, nice, got a couple of squirrels. So, all right, right side of the box. Six packs left, let's do it. Let's end it with a bang. Greed? All right, Calibrated Blast, eh, okay. Not the way that we wanna start it off, we did it! Yes! Yes! Woo! All right, nice, yes! Let's go! Let's go! The right side of the box was the one! Is the one, boys! Nice, Ragavan, non-foil, extended, border, alternate art, beautiful! 
beautiful, beautiful card. I am putting that right there on its own. Awesome. We wanted that so much. That's like a $90 card right there. If you get that in a foil, that's probably one of the best pulls, if not the best pull in this entire set. Talisman of Hierarchy. Very nice. Let's put that in this pile. All right, Soul Snare. Plague Engineer. Calibrated Blast. We have the two Calibrated Blasts in this one pack. I mean, uh, that's okay, <laughs> but definitely not a Ragavan. Look at me right now. I'm like, I'm like shaking. That's the only thing that I wanted from this box. And not a great box, but definitely worth it for pulling that Ragavan, man. All right, so we'll try to make a little pile here in the middle. I forgot that I can... I'm going to put my Mythics and Rares because I've already gotten myself out of order right here. So, beautiful. Let's put the wee baby Ragavan right there. All right, so what do we got here? Eh, 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 okay. All right, okay. Bulk cards, a Jade Avenger sketch. I kind of just threw off on the side there. Five packs left. Can we get another Ragavan? Let's get that Urza's. I, want, I actually want another Urza's because I currently have an Urza's that I pulled from one of these boxes. Um, I think it was one of the first boxes. I got a two-pack of negations and an Urza out of that and some fetchies. And uh, I put that Urza into my Galazeth deck. But uh, it's actually discussing with my friends how much would you hate me if I just made a dedicated Urza's deck. And... Uh, the answer was uh, relatively unanimous, <laughs> and so uh, I think I will one day make an Urza's deck, dedicated Urza's deck, Territorial Kavu. Uh, Kavu. Um, so I think uh, Colin's, Colin's uh, chick right there. Uh, all right, Tribute Mage. Wow, we're getting a lot of Tribute Mages. All right, so we have uh, the Murray's Wake, and wow, we're getting a lot of double hits. In these, okay, so Territorial Kabo, right there, non extended. Put that right there. What else do we get in here? Okay, okay, okay. So we'll put these over here in the, the bulk. I'm still like super excited and like I can't even speak correctly because we pulled that Ragavan. That's exactly what we wanted. We're really lacking on these fetches though, man. Look at that. Whew. We need to uh, pull one of those. Uh, Scolding Tarns, which would be nice. Actually, I said that in my last video that we got every single kind of fetch that is available in this. And uh, we actually didn't in the last video. We didn't get a Scolding Tarn, but we got two Misty Rainforests. All right, Resurgence Belief, one of those uh, Suspend Cards, Kitchen Imp. Archon of Cruelty, Sketch, Showcase. We have the Blacksmith Skill, Old Border Foil, Mine Collapse, in which I always seem to pull. What is this? Shardless Agent. Extended Art Foil. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. And Old Art, so... Um, Shardless Agent, uh, just a regular car in and itself is like two, three bucks. So I'd imagine that this is probably fetching around like six, seven, eight dollars. Uh, pretty cool pull. Our extended, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to just like pick and choose which one I'm going to be putting in the extended. Um, so, uh, I mean, I guess we kind of can put them over here. Okay. Arcana Cruelty. Actually, let's start putting these sketches and the mythics over there. So, okay, we have three packs left. Put that over there in the bulk. Here we go. I don't know why I flicked it. Maybe that was the good luck flick right there. We're gonna get three fetch lands, a Ragavan, an Urza, and a Pact of Negation out of this, okay? So you heard it right here. Definitely wouldn't have been resealed. Ooh, Strike It Rich, okay. It's actually not half bad card. Puru the Volatile, not the, ah, not the one that I wanted. But it's okay. Let's keep going. Wondered Harvest. Chatter Fang. Alternate Art. Non-foil extended border. <laughs> Beautiful, man. I love pulling myself some Chatter Fang. I'm probably going to have an entire binder of just Chatter Fang's generous gift. Very, very nice. Uh, what, why the hell not? Let's put it over there in the Mythic Pile because I'm already unorganized as this Timeless Dragon. Timeless Dragon. I keep getting repeats, which is kind of odd. Uh, Timeless Dragon. Okay card not the best rare i mean it has plane cycling but you know not the best card to pull here okay we're gonna put these in uh i guess we put the pier right there um pyro would be an interesting commander but it seems to be too expensive mana wise to even consider using it as a commander but could be pretty cool nice trolley commander 
We have one pack left after this one. So let's get a fetch land, huh? Oh, but I came, answer. Okay. All right. Sectifier. Envac. Human. Cleric. Extended. Non-foil. Thought monitor. Oh, another ephemerate. <laughs> nice. I'll take these ephemerates. They're nice cards to have in white decks to blink them out and get the ETB effects. Profane Tutor. Uh, foil. Old Border. Okay. Enchantress. Presence. Uh, not bad. We'll put that over there. Um, nothing else is really jumping out to me. We'll put these in the bulk pile. Last pack. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Cardboard Addicts. In which I am. So, the returns on this box might actually be the worst I've ever had opening one of these, but we still pulled the Ragavan. Wati was probably like, well, it's a pretty shitty box, but at least we're giving them the Ragavan, right? You know, between these two cards, it's about $100 right there, but the rest is uh, is okay. Not, you know, really jumping out to me as uh, being something that uh, I'd be happy about if I haven't already gotten that ragavan all right so our extended art our borderless guy as well okay bloodhounds search the premises flat out again we keep getting these uh repeats so what is it going to be here in the back we have two cards i think carf the lion and unmarked grave all right not the best box however we did pull the rag fan. I'm actually really surprised by that, uh, that we only got one fetch land. That is really, really surprising. I have yet to open one of these collector's booster boxes without actually getting at least a bare minimum of three fetch lands. So, a little recap here. We have the nice counter spell over here, Void Mirror. We have the Cyan of Draco. We have the Mirror's Wake. We have the extended art alternate art i'm sorry extended border foil uh pretty cool shardless agent kind of a couple of tribute mages the chatter fang right here which is pretty cool i can always appreciate the chatter fang the talisman of hierarchy darthy ward walker prismatic ending right there you know those two card cards together is about 15 bucks another shardless agent a couple of generous gifts a couple of the ephemerates non-foil borderless marsh flats and finally we get the ragavan all right, I might do another one of these next week. Kind of running low on funds, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. This box has yet to disappoint. I still am not disappointed with this box, even though that we probably couldn't have got way more fetch lands and other cards and maybe a nurse's impact of negation, <laughs> but maybe we'll get that in the next box that we open in the near future. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Keep on playing magic and enjoy it with your friends. Take care, everyone.